Hi everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk about a topic that is very common right now which is SPF. Since we're already entering into the summer, I thought that it was actually something that's going to be fitting for summer season and it's a very important topic for you to know about. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before entering into the topic, please subscribe to my channel, make sure that you are following me because remember that I have a giveaway so as soon as I hit the 1000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway so make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, I know you haven't seen the video yet but why not, just like the video and leave me a comment below about what's your favorite SPF, which one I should try and let's get started with the top. SPF is actually a very important step in the makeup process because if you're a person that spends long times under the sun or if you work in an environment that you're gonna get sunlight then you need to protect your skin this is something that is going to help you age in a slower pace and we protect you also from any skin disease like skin cancer or things like that Especially if you have sensitive skin, it's very important. First, to do your skincare routine very nicely. Use the products that work well with your skin uh, concerns. And then use your SPF. So uh, today I wanted to share the ones that I usually use. I'm in the process of knowing and learning more about what type of SPS is better, if minerals or chemical free or stuff like that. I'm not a dermatologist or anything like that. So make sure that you take everything that I say today with a grain of salt, because remember, this is only by my experience and the products that I have been working as a makeup artist that I have in my kit or also I use personally. But doesn't mean that everything that I recommend today or that I tell you today is going to be or work for you in a specific. So always consult with your dermatologist about everything. The brands that I have in my kit that I always work with are actually the same as a couple of years ago. One of them is super good. I have uh, this brand in my kit and I love how the products wear with makeup. That's why I use them a lot. And when I find the product that I actually love and that works amazingly with uh, makeup, I generally try not to use any other. So I've been using their products for a long time now. This is the 100% Mineral Mask Screen in 40, SPS 40. And I have also the Unseen Sunscreen, which is not mineral, of course, and it's not as thick as this one. This one is a little bit thicker and also has a mattifying effect. So if you are a person or you're a makeup artist and have a person or client that has oily skin, this is going to be amazing for that. And this one is more for people that have oily skin or they're not sensitive towards any type of chemicals because the mineral sunscreens are chemical free sunscreen. Mineral sunscreens also, you have to be careful because if you work with pictures, that's mainly what I do. Uh, you have to make sure that the brands that you work with doesn't have much of a flashback. What happened with mineral sunscreens, since they are too thick and dense when you apply them, they tend to give you like that white type of uh, finish. So when you apply it on, this, on the skin, it gives you that thing. And if you're taking pictures or stuff like that, that might reflect in the picture. So you make sure that um, the brands that you work with doesn't give you that effect much. This one from Supergoop actually is very good because it doesn't give me that flash a little bit, but not too much. I have also the their mist, which I use to reapply because whenever you use sunscreen, you have to make sure that you are reapplying every couple of hours, depending on how long you are under the sun. For example, you are somebody that is working on, I don't know, construction, or you work at the beach or things like that, you have to be reapplying your sunscreen at least, I would say every three or four hours, depending on how long the sunscreen says that it will last in your skin. Some sunscreens have like 90 minutes protection, all other ones are like 60 minutes, so depending on what it says in the bottle, you need to be reapplying. 
And this one is pretty good because I'm sorry if, if it's a little bit worn because I have it in my kit. I use it a lot and I do it to reapply during the day while I'm shooting and to reapply myself and everything. And for this body, they recently released this one, which is the Glow Screen Body, which is very, very nice because it has a little bit of, a, I wouldn't say glitter, but it's like very fine shimmer. So when you apply it in the body, the body is gonna shine a little bit. So it's super nice if you're in the beach or you are like in a, I don't know, in a pool party or if you are a person like a makeup artist like me for the girls uh, when you're doing like swimwear or stuff like that. So this is pretty good and it's also SPS 40, which I recommend if you are under the sun for long hours, you shouldn't wear anything that's less than 40. Why? Because you are spending a long time under the sun, so the less the level of SPF protection, you're gonna get sunburn out of it. So the less you, the less protection you have, the more prone you are of getting a sunburn. So here in Florida, actually, I wouldn't recommend anything less than 40 because even when you're having protection, like sporty protection, you still have a um, 10. <laughs> also, the face, whenever I want like that glowy type of finish on the face and stuff like that, I use this one, which is a pretty nice like glow stick that they have. Also has SPF of 50, and it's very nice because it's shiny. It's, it's like a balm. I don't know if you can see there that it shines a little bit easier. And it gives me that like natural highlight and at the same time it's protecting the skin. So I use it myself or I use it in clients when I'm shooting at the beach. Another brand that I also recommend and that I use is Neutrogena, which is less expensive, that's super good, and they have amazing products too. This one in particular is the one that I use myself, which is the Invisible Daily Defense, and it's SPS 60. On my face, I like to use 60 or more because I don't, I really hate having my face tan. Whenever I go to the beach, and even if I'm working or it's just me going to the beach, I always protect my face like crazy because I don't like to have a tan face. Why? Because it's uncomfortable. My skin, actually, when I get face tan, it starts like peeling and I hate that peeling uh, effect. It dries out too much and it's very uncomfortable and it's, it's not cute. So I don't like that. And also I don't want to be or wrinkle when I am like 50. <laughs> so I protect a lot. For the body, if I want to get a tan, then I use SPF. 30 and this one from Neutrogena is actually very nice. I don't use any oils or anything like that to tan anymore. I used to use it when I was younger, when I was in my like early 20s. I used to use like oils to tan because I wanted to get, you know, my my color. I don't do it anymore. And whenever I want a little bit tan or anything like that and I'm in the beach, I use a 30, a 30 SPF in the body. I also have 45, which the 45 one and the 30, I always have it in my kit also because this is something that actually, a tip that I actually learned from Scott Burns. He was uh, talking about how he made the body glow on his clients or J-Lo or stuff like that. And he uses SPF. So anytime that I do a swimwear look or anything like that in the beach, this is what I use for the body. So they are shiny and they are super glowy and stuff like that. And I'm giving also a protection. So that's super, super nice. And that's actually a great tip. And I also have this one for the face to reapply whenever you're wearing makeup or not to reapply during the day. This is a spray from Neutrogena also. It's very comparable with this one. The only thing is I don't like the spray in this one because it's a little bit aggressive. So when you are applying it, it will go like straight to your face like that. But what I do is I use a sponge. I spray the, the sponge and then I just pat it in the face like that because sometimes it can be too much. 
Okay, so first I wanted to get out of the way everything I use, give you some tips and all that so you know how uh, to apply your SPF. Now I'm going to let you know the brands that I actually learn from people that I actually follow like dermatologists and people that actually are skincare specialists and brands that I want to experiment a little bit more and maybe in the future I will do a second part of this video and maybe let you know how all of these suggestions work. Some of other products that I heard they're super nice and that can work as a SPF perfectly and also good options for you to wear yourself or having your kit if you're a makeup artist are from the drugstore side Bishi has a great SPF that one I had the opportunity to uh, try and I know it works very nicely also La Roche Posay I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly <laughs> everything I name here hopefully my editor will put a picture here I'm looking at my editor right now <laughs> so you guys know which one I'm talking about a Cetabi Cetabi is actually a pretty nice brand because they're fragrance free they're nice and pretty gentle for people that have sensitive skin they have amazing products from moisturizer cleansers, toners, and also SPF. So make sure that if you are a person that's sensitive to fragrance or sensitive to chemicals, that, you, that your skin is super reactive or acne prone, then CeraVe is gonna be an amazing option. And also, Sunbon has an amazing SPF for face and body, and they actually have uh, something uh, similar to this spray, which you can use in the face, and it's pretty nice and Bear Republic. Bear Republic is actually a pretty great brand if you have oily skin because they have also a very thin formula that is great. So if you are interested in that, just check them out. Those are drugstore. And the other section, which is more expensive, <laughs> is the First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty is another brand that it's great for people that are acne prone, sensitive skin, like CeraVe, what I talk about. First Aid is also fragrance free. Their products are actually very minimal in ingredients that can be harsh for sensitive skin. And that's a little bit pricier brand. They are everywhere. I think, I think you can buy them in Sephora. You can buy them, if I'm not mistaken, Ulta too. So you can see like where you can find them and maybe get a discount or sell. Try them because they're pretty, pretty good. I love First Aid. I use their, mo their moisturizers before. The little cleaning pads are amazing. So Shiseido is a brand that I have used before. Their SPF is pretty nice. It's a little bit pricey, but it's pretty, pretty nice. It's very water resistant. So if you are a person that maybe works at the beach or you know that you're gonna be in a place that you're gonna sweat a lot, which in my case, <laughs> it's all the time, I'm always sweating. This is something that maybe you can be interested in. Have that in mind whenever you are buying an SPF that is water resistant. If you are a person that sweats a lot or work in a place that you might get wet. Like if you are a lifeguard, maybe, <laughs> then you, you have to buy something that is water resistant. A brand that is super gentle and, and very nice for my dark girls and boys is the Black Girl SPF or Black Girl Sunscreen. They actually sell this at Target, so you can get it there. It's not that it's pricey, but it's not inexpensive either. I think it's in the same range as maybe super good but the only thing that i don't like about the brand is that uh, they have only one spf and it's 30 and that's it they don't have a higher than that the other higher one that they have is the kids one which i'm um, i'm not sure if it's going to give you a flashback if you buy the kids one which is 45 spf but that one you have to have it in mind if you would need more protection then that one wouldn't work but i i know it's pretty pretty nice it's a very moist type of spf so if you have dry skin or stuff like that that is going to work amazing because it leaves the skin super super glowy super butter soft 
but if you are combination or oily skin maybe that one is not gonna be a good option but have in mind that they only have 30 SPF so I wish they have something higher because I know 30 for my face it's not gonna work for me I love my 60 and over that <laughs> And uh, the last one is Dr. George Every Sunday Mineral SPF. I wanted to include a mineral option here uh, because I know that some people don't like any chemicals SPF. So Dr. Jard, the Sunday Mineral SPF, I have heard amazing, amazing things about it. And the good thing is that from a lot of people that I have heard about this SPF, they all say that it doesn't have much of a uh, flashback. So if you're gonna be taking pictures and you love your mineral SPF, this one is going to be a good option because it's not gonna give you that white <laughs> cast whenever you take a picture. Almost forgot, from my drugstore side for mineral options, the one that I have worked with and I think is very comparable to this one, the Dr. Jart, in, in the sense that doesn't give me as much of a white cast, is the Neutrogena Sheer Sink. I'm gonna put a picture here is pretty pretty nice it's also dense but it's not as heavy and it's not gonna give you that flashback at least not too much of it so in conclusion guys get your spf down if you have to do some research do it if you have to learn about brands do it spf is something that you have to make sure that it works perfectly with first i will say your your skin and then second of all your lifestyle why because it depends on where you work and how you're gonna wear it and how much of a protection you need but definitely this is something that you should always always use and add to your makeup routine. This is gonna be the main factor in your aging. There's nothing that ages more than sun. So get your protection, make sure that you wear your SPF every single day. Even if you work in at home right now, if you work in front of a window, you need to wear your SPF. You're listening to me. <laughs> I'm telling my husband right now. He works in front of a window. And that's it, guys. I hope you like this video. Share it with everyone because this is a very important information. And I know uh, that everyone needs to hear this. Leave me in the comments below if you want me to try anything else because I really want to try more brands and I really want to experiment even with Korean brands and I know there's so many SPFs out there that I need to try that I know they're good so leave me in the comments below your favorite SPF and I'm gonna be uh, reading you and making sure to take notes don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one bye bye